Shooting as many people wondering if more should be done to protect students inside schools. Tonight, 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin is looking at one option that could make classrooms partially bulletproof. She's in the studio tonight with more. Megan? David, FBI research says 95% of mass school shootings are done by someone with access to a school. The security measure I'm about to show you is used in one Indiana school to keep students safe. We see doors every day. I've been in it about 25 years. But Craig Usselton says he's seen it all because he sells it all. There's bullet resistant, blast resistant. Uh, we do a lot of that at like the uh, military bases. He even sells bullet resistant doors. It tends to have a different core, uh, heavier steel. To government bases, courthouses, and police stations. Now he says they should be used in schools. There's probably a lot of people that don't realize that glass and doors and all that stuff can be you know, pretty bullet resistant. When we're talking about active shooter, it truly is an internal threat. Michael Yorio is the president of SSI Guardian. The organization specializes in safety education training. He says last week's Florida shooting makes him even more passionate about preventing school shootings. I actually live in South Florida, so this one really hits home for me. In Virginia, many schools have active shooter trainings. But Yorio says like schools are equipped with fire alarms and fire extinguishers, they need protective tools from shooters too. There's a misnomer out there that if the door is locked, the attacker will just move through. Um, that's not the case. Um, we know from, from research and from past events, sometimes that attacker tries to breach that door and will try to shoot through that door. Now Yorio says bullet resistant doors like Usselton has could save students lives. Usselton says that a small light caliber door could cost $1,600. I reached out to multiple public school districts in Hampton Roads to see if they were considering changes like adding these doors. All of them say it's too soon to know. In the studio, Megan Shin, 13 News Now.